from three foot one all the way up past seven feet, let's check out how Big Nate's characters stack up from shortest to tallest. One major key to looking ripped is having a huge amount of chest hair. Ooh! I, um, I had more than this yesterday. Mm-hmm. Lucky for you, Chad has a ton to spare. Chad? <laughs> Just when you think you know someone. Time for a transplant. Pulls the hair right off. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna destroy you, Nate, right? Oh. Oh. We'll always be friends. Friends. Just dropping in. Give us the formula, dog. We know you can talk. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, pal. Traffic was real. <laughs> this one doesn't fit either. Look, a perfect match. Mind if I cut in? Who needs two kidneys? And you've got a best friend. Best friend. Your dog, man. Actually, it's my neighbor's dog. Do I, Kim Cressley, have a crush on Nate Wright? Yeah, that wasn't the question at all. Crush doesn't even begin to do my feelings justice. Nate and Kim's tongues intertwined like two snakes forming an aurora boris of prepubescent passion as they move. Huh, why are my gym socks always disappearing? <laughs> I do. I do too, my darling. If anyone has any objections, speak now. Stop the wedding. Uh, uh, pleasant dreams. As Nate's most enabling as friend, allow me to introduce step one in your course, mischief management. I will be teaching you how to recognize the seedlings of mischief in Nate before they blossom into a full-grown carnivorous plant that will inevitably destroy us all. Observe the crazy gleam Nate gets in his eye as he's conjuring up a wild idea. Hey, I recognize that look. Uh, yeah, of course you do, Nate's dad. Oh, please, call me Martin. Nah, these are some of the things Nate says before he's about to commit una locura. Any of these should put you on high alert. I have an idea. I got this. What happens if I push this button? Do you dare me to eat this? And last but not least, can 11-year-olds get arrested for fill in the blank? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that's Jenny's voice. <gasps> this is clearly destiny. You can't keep Jenny and me apart. It's gotten really bad out there. And Archer. Oh, did something bad happen to him? Worse, he almost threw up on me. He got so delirious, he tried to make out with the mop, then he picked a fight with the plunger and lost. It might take me a few seconds to get over it. Okay, I'm better.
Hey, don't worry. We'll get through this together. I'm sorry. What's your name again? <laughs> Today is the best day ever! Better than Christmas, better than my birthday, better than the eventual day that Ellen goes to a two-year vocational program. Happy April Fool's Day, mate! <laughs> exactly! It's April Fool's Day, a.k.a. the most important pranking day of the year. And the number one target is the big guy himself, Principal Nichols. And who started this awesome tradition? None other than my hero, my role model, PS 38's all-time primo prankster, Brad Gunter! <laughs> my mission in life is to carry on Gunter's pranking legacy. The question is, which of Gunter's larger-than-life pranks to pull on Principal Nichols today? You may proceed. Please have your bags unzipped and ready for inspection. All pranking paraphernalia will be confiscated and disposed of. Good thing Gunter designed all of his pranks to only use stuff that's already in the school. I mean, the guy was a genius, right? I probably shouldn't be waving this around. Oh, trying to sneak a shark in, eh? Let's try. But there will be no pranks on my watch. <laughs> that's what he thinks. Friend Nate, what is this? Oh, oh this? Oh, it's that's nothing. Just uh, just that I slaved away in my kitchen all night baking you these delicious cupcakes. Mmm. Oh, sorry, Nate, but I am super allergy to cocoa bean. Oh, no, 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 don't worry. There aren't any cocoa beans in these. Just chocolate. Oh, you had funny, Friend Nate. <laughs> Here, I finished your homework for whole week so your comics you can focus on. You didn't. <laughs> Yes, because unlike you, I am at jokes not so good. See you later. Ugh, it smells like someone stepped in. Dead goat, bro! I can be just as nice as he can. This means war. Kindness war! Hey, cleaned your locker for you. No need to thank me. Oh, crazy coincidence. I also just cleaned your locker. Arthur. Oh, thank you, Nate. I am not have any beans for you. <laughs> Instead, please enjoy all you can eat still gravy and peace. <gasps> I got you this from the Space Museum. You can pretend it's a real rocket ship. Oh, why pretend? I got those tickets to space. Touche, <laughs> Arthur. Oh, 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 <laughs> You want jerk face? I know this is gonna sound crazy, but if you don't leave with me now, you could get hurt. You want me to run away with you, mate? Right? That's uh, so stupid. <laughs> mate, <Yeah>! right? <sighs> Look, we we don't have much time. C can you just trust me? And why should I trust you? Would I be spending my time talking to you right now if something wasn't terribly wrong? Point taken. Okay, let's go. Yeah! If you finally open this door, wait! Nate Wright will drag you down into the mud of mediocrity! <laughs> wait, you got a bike? Far too dangerous. I carpool. <sighs> I'm guessing you don't have a helmet then either. Of course I do. I have to protect my big brain. <sighs> yeah, more like butt brain. Hop on! Hmm. Huh? What does she want? She has a huge crush on me, and she thinks I'm in love with you. That's crazy! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know! I'll save you a dog. I told you once, I told you once. Ah! You never saw me! Boom! Hey. She's still behind us. Hold on, I'm gonna make a tight turn. 
down here. I get chased a lot. <laughs> Welcome, one and all! Earlier today, you were merely teachers. But today, you are actors! <laughs> oh, Garlic, My Garlic is not just an ensemble musical about vampire romance from the POV of the garlic. It is a celebration of life! Okay, you've now formed our castle. Now be the castle. I can't stay in this position. I've got an itch. <laughs> Don't scratch it yet. Without its support beams, our Zoclanian castle will come crumbling down. It itches. It itches. <laughs> okay, let's try something else. Flap your wings! Flap your wings! Long, long, we're long. Then was I as a tree. Surprise, trust fall! Cheeseburger! 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 Thank you, Coach John. Okay, Miss Godfrey, you're up. I want you to think about your favorite animal. Now, act like that animal. Oh, okay. Hello, owner. It is me, your cat. We speak different languages. Therefore, I must communicate with you by pooping in your shoes and clawing the furniture. Ow, 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 ow! Hmm. People, our lead vampire is desperately in love with Miss Demetria, a Zoclanian garlic clove, and our audience has to feel that forbidden romance. Observe. Uh, Kim? I ran out of music in my head. I don't know what that was, but you're gonna pay for it! <laughs> huh? It, 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 it's working! We're slowing down! What I tell you, Nate? We both have friends can accomplish anything! Francis, use your powers to stop the blueberry. Kim, you know I'm a man of science, and what you're telling me to do is just impossible! <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do that, the nerd? I just had to channel my inner Kim. Oh, and by the way, G-nerd is a redundant insult. Geek and nerd mean basically the same thing. <laughs> Whatever, just keep your mutant G-nerd powers away from me. Surrender your pimple and we can end this silly, legally troubling game. Hey, move aside. Make way, beefheads. Big sister coming through. Get away from my brother. Ellen? Why, it's Ellen Wright, the most exemplary student to ever grace PS 38's halls. Look at all of you. You've turned into savages. And over what? A pimple. I used to let pimples run my life. Make me feel like a loser and a freak. Until I realized that I was more than my pimples. Yes, this so-called lucky pimple turned my idiot brother into an even bigger idiot. But who hasn't had their own inner pimple demons to conquer? They don't call them the devil's face mushrooms for nothing! And furthermore, if anyone is going to pop this dweeb's pimple, it's me. Nothing bad happened? I was just messing with you, dork. The things I do for this family. Ah, Mrs. Godfrey, wait, how did you get here? I've always been here. Well, I trust you all remembered your dinners. That wasn't a question, you little miscreants. What did you bring, Mrs. Godfrey? <laughs> Years of experience killing things more defenseless than I. Nature provides for seasoned campers like myself. <laughs> Huh? Nature provides? Huh? Huh. <laughs> Where 
Where are your chaperones? The tent of Ned flew to the sky, and they have to be looking for it. What? Nate Wright caused problems? Shack it! Get cooking, and don't leave camp. There are things in the woods, and by things, I mean me. Got me! Ooh, I've got something! I've got something! Come on! Take a look at who's driving the pest control van. Zeph, I can still fix this. Hey, Chad, how brittle are your bones? Oh, huh? <gasps> oh man, little bro, that dent's gonna come out of my paycheck. <sighs> Sorry, we were rehearsing. Chad's playing a homing pigeon and wanted to learn how to fly. I'm a method actor. Did something similar when I raised chinchillas and wanted to know what it felt like to be shaved violently. Answer, not great. Got bandages in the truck. Foxtrot, Bravo, Charlie, Roger Dodger, Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo, Anamanapia. Dee Dee, we're in position. Keep Zeph occupied while we search for Sheila and her babies. Over and out. Just hurry. I don't know how long we can stall. There you go, buddy. Be careful next time, okay? We need to stall for more time. Okay, sure. I can do that. <laughs> Zeph! Coming. Dad. <laughs> I think that it's time that we talk about your fear of public restrooms. Fear? I, I don't know what you're talking about. This is a safe space, okay? You are only as sick as your secrets. And you are pretty sick, Dad. <sighs> it all started when I was about five years old. <sighs> Dad, can we go at that gas station? Can we go at that restaurant? Ah, uh, Marty, come on, I promise, we're almost home. But I have to go pee, badly. Okay, Marty, we can stop. But you know when the toilet snakes sense a stranger approaching, well, they slither up the pipes and they bite you on the bibby. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. Dad, you know that Grandpa was just messing with you, right? I mean, toilet snakes aren't real. <laughs> you know, it's just a silly myth. It's like trickle-down economics or, or a cat sucking your soul out, right? He broke me forever. No, no, no. You are not broken, okay? You might be badly chipped, but it is never too late to get help. Tomorrow, you and I will go- Out for ice cream. Good idea. No, Dad. We will go to a public restroom. <laughs> I'm so afraid! Oh me! I think it's fine! <laughs> Imitation is the highest form of flattery. But you faked your identity! What if you get caught? Hey, we're talking about getting rich, Francis. Money trumps ethics. Time is up, little ones. Oh, oh man! <laughs> Nate Wright and friends, I am full of regret, but I will need to receive my pork butt back now. Oh, delightful to the touch is very good job of meat tenderizing. You will all receive extra helping of cricket. It's snack time. <laughs> Nate, how are we supposed to win with that? Principal Nichols, that is not the snow sculpture we started. I, uh... I need you all to get serious. I'm counting on that race to get a couple of bill collectors off my back. And, of course, a new snack machine for you kiddos. What happened here? Nolan happened. He always had a weird thing for fingers. We can't let him win. We must rebuild. Huh. I think you're gonna be excited about this one, Principal Nichols. The word, uh, masterpiece comes to mind. Masterpiece? <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> okay, and look! Nolan! <laughs> we may be back ribs, we're gonna lose. And at this rate, I'll be fired. Attention! Soldiers! If we're going to win this thing, we have to be strong, ruthless, cold as ice! <laughs> Look, I get it.
get it, guys. But we can't just go home or sleep or pay attention to personal hygiene. We have to beat Nolan. All right, all right now come, come on, come on, look at me. Watch, watch, look at my speed, look at my form. You see my form? You see how I'm doing this? It's on the wrist. And there we go. <laughs> see? What was that noise? Sweet pepperoni mustache, what is that? Uh, okay, so over the course of this entire week, under the excellent leadership of Nate Wright, Team Awesome has made zero progress? Hello? What? No, you cannot repossess my memory foam toilet seat. I forbid it. <laughs> <sighs> I wouldn't say ruined. Baby poop hardly smells. Think of it like a fresh bag of liquid potato chips. Speaking of babies, where did those feisty little critters go? Oh, them? They should be right. Kids! They're gonna eat me! Relax, Francis. They're just babies. They, they can't hurt you. Please, God, they're allergic. <laughs> Are they allergic to the cats or the bats? <laughs> Alright, the circus. Put me down. I'm too old to fly. What in tarnation? Uh, hello, Coach Jay. As you can see, I've had a little accident. <laughs> A shame I won't be able to figure skate today. Nice cast. What'd you use? Two ply? It's a miracle. I am cured. Be right back. My Fear the Mollusk album got discovered. It's from the hottest K pop band in the game. As a K pop fan myself, I'm highly skeptical. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. These ice skates have got to go. I will be sitting out gym class as a form of protest against child humiliation in this country. If you think figure skating is humiliating, try repeating sixth grade gym. Go lace up, porcupine head. Come on, I want to get to Galvin's class early. I brought chocolate covered crickets for Sheila. Hmm. Uh, Zick. Galvin, uh, what's going on? Orders from the school board. Because of Larry the lizard's freak out, children have become terrified of anything lizard. <laughs> lizard should be in cages, not our children's arms. Burn it down! The school board feels that lizards and anything lizard related have no place around the children. Are you saying that lizards have been canceled? Well, wait, what about Sheila? <laughs> I'm so sorry, children. Uh, Sheila will be gone by the end of the week. Uh, uh, is that food? Oh, mm, are these pretzels? Delicious, delicious. So gross. <laughs> 